have been over this a few times, but Hollywood is pretty much out of ideas. The most anticipated films, the biggest releases of the year are all sequels, requels, prequels, remakes. It's just, it's no new original ideas. And that's not to say that these films can't be good, okay? There's always the potentiality for a good story, but you'd also be blind to the situation if you didn't take a look at the recent track record and go, no, no, this isn't going to be good, but Entertainment Weekly's 24, or 24 most anticipated movies of 2024. You've got the exact same film that Jason Statham has been doing for the past 20 years. A Oh, a, a unique spin on the Frankenstein story. Wow, she's a woman. Uh, the, the Frankenstein's monster's a woman. That's crazy. That's going to be so great. J-Lo's old ass releasing a concert film fantastic this is where we're at this is where we're at right now or if we're completely out of unique and original ideas you gotta make them identity focused drive away dolls a lesbian road trip caper oh my god stars margaret or margaret Qualley and geraldine this I, that I couldn't imagine anything oh okay from a directorial project from ethan cohen yeah totally makes sense dune part two which i know a lot of people are looking forward to and i hear nothing but good things for the first one but l let's be fair it's a sequel to an adaptation from the 60s. Not exactly new, but it is a monumental occasion for Hollywood to, you know, successfully translate uh, what was previously thought to be an untellable story to the silver screen. And I know, shout out to David Lynch, who's getting his 1980s Dune movie re-released in the theaters in anticipation for Dune Part 2, but... Come on, man, like that felt considerably short of the lofty ideas of Frank Herbert, but whatever. A Roadhouse remake? Like, bro, do we even need to continue to go down the list right here? You can see Hollywood is out of unique ideas and something that further drives this home, and especially on the TV side of things. They're doing a Watson series, a Sherlock Holmes Watson series. And what's the unique hook behind this? Morris Chestnut. Morris Chestnut, who is, uh, let me check. Is he British? Nope. Is he, uh, got the defining characteristics of Watson? Oh, hell no. So the entertainment industry cannot burn down quick enough with its uh, just <laughs> lack of unique ideas. Watson series to star Morris Chestnut as Sherlock Holmes' sidekick. Unbelievable. Dr. John Watson is stepping out of Sherlock's shadow. Is he really? Because, uh, oh, oh no, no, his actual shadow. Okay. As a very own TV series starring Morris chestnut it, and that's a name and that's a face that i've seen for a very long time and I'm sure he's a skilled actor but this always comes back to whenever like you know a marvel character ends up getting race swapped or gender swapped they might be a great actor they might be a great actress but at the end of the day you accepted the role a legendary role an iconic role and it's just not the fit for you tell a unique story but oh this also tells me another thing okay if you're going to take a tertiary character like you know dr watson sherlock holmes sidekick and you need to use that in order to catapult your script that tells me that you don't think that your ideas are going to resonate on their own because okay morse chestnut gets a show okay he gets a investigative drama set in 19th century britain okay interesting idea that could be a lot of fun you know you could have call outs and you could have shout outs to sherlock holmes where you could draw some inspiration from but it could be a wholly unique idea but you didn't want to do that you didn't want to do that because you knew that this was going to be crap. Watson, a new television her television series that puts Sherlock Holmes' sidekick into the spotlight, is moving forward at CBS. But yeah, I guess outside of just jangling the keys where, oh, you know, hey, you just need to continue to watch this because, hey, uh, uh, eventually, eventually Sherlock Holmes might show up. How many qualifiers do you need to get in order for people to actually show up? It's ridiculous. Per Variety, Watson has been given a straight-to-series order at CBS, so you're not even going to see a pilot. You're just going to go, nope, I've seen everything that we need to. This is a beautiful idea. And the show's lead star has been announced, Morris Chestnut, who starred in recent TV shows like The Enemy Within, The Resident, and Our Kind of People will play Dr. John Watson in the series. Watson is created by writer Craig Sweeney. Elementary also already has experience with the larger Sherlock Holmes ethos who will uh, serve as the showrunner sweeney and chestnut are both on board as executive producers alongside brian morowitz makes sense capital entertainments aaron kaplan makes sense and sharon uh, sharon amolem makes even more sense 
In confirming the series order, CBS Entertainment President Amy Reisenbach ah, said in a statement, We are thrilled to feature such a beloved character from the world of Sherlock Holmes at the center of this series, and to have it brought to life by Morse Chestnut in a fresh and unexpected take on the immortal doctor. On the immortal doctor. Oh, boy. Craig Sweeney's bold new vision for a complex Dr. Watson deftly interweaves rich character storytelling with the edge of your seat medical mysteries. So you're already going to add, at least from what you tell right there, okay, the immortal doctor. I guess maybe you're, prefer uh, you're referring to the reputation of Sherlock Holmes, but come on, man. If you're going to try to add a supernatural element to this, just make your own show. What's being led right here? Not Morse Chestnut. Great talent. Okay, we have a fantastic cast of uh, cast and crew behind this. No, no, no. We're just going to try to leech off of Sherlock Holmes. Unbelievable. This happens every single day. Dr. Watson deftly interweaves, yes, uh, rich character storytelling. That's why he needed to adapt somebody else's well-established character. Makes sense. And then edge of your seat, uh, edge of your seat, medical mysteries. Ooh, oh, he's going to do an autopsy. Oh, on network television. Make sure to deftly cut away from that. Watson has also been described as a medical show with a strong investigative spine. So it's going to be what, you know, 19th century CSI? K, okay. Featuring a modern version of one of history's greatest detectives. Oh, so it's updated for current day. Unbelievable. Okay. I guess all the obvious changes make sense if it's going to be London in 2024 as he turns his attention to solving crimes, to solving medical mysteries. Ooh, yes, very unique. The show will also notably be focused solely on Dr. 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 Watson as it picks up after the apparent death of his longtime mentor. Oh my god, just mystery box, Sherlock Holmes. I don't know, maybe he died, who cares? Sherlock Holmes, yes, uh, whether Sherlock will appear in flashback sequences, of course he will, he remains to be seen but a log line further teases how the primary focus will be on dr watson oh yeah yeah yes of course but it's funny okay there you have one of the prior incarnations of sherlock holmes i think what yeah that one was sherlock right benedict cumberbindel and martin freeman right there playing watson obviously and then the big screen interpretation where you had jude laws watson you had robert downey jr sherlock holmes makes sense and then you have the old classic what 1960s interpretation and then he had whatever the hell or Lucy Liu was doing. What was that? Elementary. And then, of course, you know, many anime adaptations, which, you know, they, they are numerous at this point in time. Christ almighty, you know, hey, one of the most popular animes of all time is fucking Death Note, that, which I actually have a copy of over there. Which you could say draws inspiration from Sherlock, but you know, so much more on top of that. But anyways, in the show, a per the reported logline, a year after the death of his friend and partner Sherlock Holmes at the hands of Moriarty. So again, you're just going to go ahead and take everything from Sherlock Holmes, and you're just going to go ahead and insert your own messaging. Stop me if you've heard this before. Dr. John Watson Chestnut resumes his medical career as the head of clinical a dedicated or er, the head of a clinic sorry dedicated to treating rare disorders watson's old life isn't done with him though moriarty and watson are set to write their own chapters of a story that has fascinated audiences for more than a century and yes if this gets more than one season it will continue to fascinate audiences the world over i mean are we about done are we about done with these bastardized retelling of ancient stories nothing against morris chestnut i'm sure he's a fine guy but his agent should probably be bitch slapped across the face given the fact that yeah you got presented with this wonderful idea you can go ahead and play this iconic character you look nothing like him and it's going to be a bastardized version of it but it would be a great career opportunity for you i mean enough is enough man absolutely ridiculous it's like when rachel zegler got cast as snow white or Halle bailey got cast as ariel for the little mermaid they were wrong for the roles. They were insufferable on top of that, but they were wrong for the roles to begin with because you are trying to appeal to an audience that's never going to tune into your show. Like, no, nobody of the SJW Brigade is going to tune into CBS just to see Black Watson. Absolutely not. You see how they act whenever, because what is it? I'll just go ahead and, you know, harken back to one of the most perfect examples, the live-action Lilo and Stitch remake, right, from coming out from Disney, and they cast a Polynesian cast, and, well, one person wasn't dark enough to play one of the roles, even though they were 100% Polynesian, they will just continue to eat their own, and CBS, parent company Paramount, of course, you know, at the end of the day, Paramount's still gonna Paramount and make terrible decisions. That's why for every success that they do have, for every Top Gun Maverick they put out there, 
They have a Star Trek Discovery, and now, well, now they're going to have a Watson on their hands. Cancellation on the horizon. <laughs> Elementary, dear Watson. So with all that said, thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Consuelo. I want you to follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.